everybody. So, so many of you have asked how we harvest our quinoa. So we are here to show you how we're doing that. Wait a minute, who asked? The Facebook land and everyone that came to our little garden party. Oh, okay. Lots of people are curious. So this is ripe quinoa, ready to harvest. It's completely dry on the stalk. Okay. So this is step one, basically. So I want to make note here of see how light colored the stalk is on the one that Angela's holding versus the ones in the background there. It's still got a little bit of the pink color to it. And you can see that they're pretty dry, like the leaves are dry. So this is what quinoa looks like. This is quinoa. This, that's one of the most common questions I get is like, what does it look like? So what we're doing is I'm putting it in this basket, basket bag and just kind of stripping it off the stalks. It's a Trader Joe's bag. We don't really go to Trader Joe's that often. It was just that we have the Trader Joe's bag there just in case. No, no we, it, we grow all our own food. Oh yeah, all our own food. We don't shop at stores ever. Never. Nope. Never. Never. Okay, there's that. <laughs> but look in here. You pretentious asshole. Ah, this is just a few stalks, but you can see that we've got quite a bit already in here. And as you kind of start looking down below, can you see how down here there's some loose quinoa like? Let me show you right here. That's that's the key. You recognize it? There. See some like of those? That? Oh, look at there's a little ladybug nymph. We're gonna it's speak out more of focus, but about that. Yeah, we got later. Let me take put that. that back in the I don't in know the how field. to get it out. Um, oh, maybe well. just put it on. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, that's one for taking one for the team. Okay. Now for the next step. All right. Now for the next step, if you can see uh, inside here. I've taken a sample of what's in the bag. And so the way I've been doing it just for casual harvesting, you know, hanging around with, uh, you know, and talking with friends or what have you, is you kind of break it up. And there's more than one way to do this, but this is one way we've been doing it. And then kind of shake it around and the, the sticks and the dust kind of come to the top there. And just... It's Christmas! Take a look. See how the quinoa now is a little more... Exposed there. I'll do one more. Wow. It's like a I, snow globe. I think the, most of the quinoa stays in there. I'd say like 95% of the quinoa stays in the bowl. Maybe a little bit of it gets out. But do one more. Boom. So, yeah. I got You're covered in quinoa dandruff. So there you go. And the quinoa is exposed. And the rest of it, when we go to prepare it to cook it, there's still going to be a little bit of a dust that comes to the top of the surface of the water and we either just pour it out or sift it out. Is that the right word, sift? Sure. <laughs> but it does make a lot of dust. And the other method is to put it in water and let the quinoa drop to the bottom and then take the stuff off. But uh, that's for big projects what we're probably going to do uh, later unless we come up with another method. So if you know another method, let us know. Also, I want to say that it, you need to rinse quinoa really well before you eat it anyway. Apparently, each piece of quinoa has a coating on it that needs to be soaked off. So even if you buy it from the grocery store, usually you need to do that before you cook it. Yeah. Do you want to talk about our aphid problem? Yes. Well, would you like to begin the aphid conversation? Oh, you're filming this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, come take a look at underneath. Well, the quinoa used to be covered in these black... Bean, oh, here. We might be able to see aphids. some right here. Look, there's some right there. They're on top. On this squash, those little black things. And then underneath is a better, better representation. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. But what is that crazy alligator-looking thing? Let's take a look right there. If anybody recognizes that. I don't know. I don't know how, yeah, real good, unfortunately, but... that probably doesn't zoom. This mm -hmm. is a uh, ladybug nymph. This is what a baby ladybug looks like. They're actually bigger than ladybugs. They're longer. And then they make a little cocoon. They do this. Thing. I don't know if you can see this one right here. This one is starting to turn into a ladybug. You probably see the more common ladybug shape. And then after they break out of that shell, they turn into a regular ladybug. And I don't know if you can see her at all right here, but there's a little, no, pull that down there. There's a little red ladybug right there. Oh, I see that. See her? And that's a freshly a freshly heart I don't know harvested <laughs> hatched full adult ladybug so we've managed to grow quite a few here there's a bunch down here and the rice that we had out and underneath all the leaves and on the stalks so 
they're living the ladybug dream out here. If they could just uh, deal with all of our aphids, that would be super great. All right.